What's your explanation for the fact that an old Brooklyn Jew, 74 years old, has such a gathering of thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands, thousands of millennials who think that he will represent the future well, and not Hillary Clinton? It's a complicated story. I mean, um, I think that young people are receptive to big ideas, to striking slogans, to things that are going to change. We're going to change. We're have a revolution. No, I'm Your not, students, educated by you. Princeton's a little different, but 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 yeah, but but people that age, not my kids because they've been raised differently. But that's another story. Um, sure, I mean, look, I'm a 68er. I come out of all of that. Of course, we want to have a revolution. Of course, the world needs to be changed in radical, different ways. Um, so I understand the appeal, and the, the the age of the person doesn't really matter. And the winds are changing. Sorry. And the winds are changing. Yeah, the winds were changing in 1968. Look what we got. Okay, I hope we don't get what we got in 1968. Please, 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 you know, um, please, let's not have that happen. Um, no, I mean, I, I don't think that, that America is in a revolutionary situation at the moment. I'm not quite sure what Senator Sanders means by a political revolution. It's somewhat vague. It sounds great, but what does he mean? He says he's a socialist, and then when you ask him what is a socialist means, it means he's a New Deal Democrat. Well, socialism and New Deal Democrat, that's not the same thing. So there's a certain degree of lack of clarity, shall we say, about what Senator Sanders stands for and what he aims to do. I think what he's pushing at is a frustration, a frustration with the current administration, because the current administration ran in as, came in with many, many young people and many intellectuals thinking that it was going to be the second coming of something. And it's never the second coming of anything. But the people got this very disillusioned with him. And so there's a frustration there, and it's been turned back around. I think that. Hillary Clinton suffers from all of the old stuff about the, the, the 90s, much of which is myth, mythological, being turned against her as well. When you throw in social media, when you throw in how information is designed now, I'm not surprised that people hate her, uh, or some people claim to hate her, because they've been whipped up. The same whipping up is going on at both ends. And so you see that degree of fervent feeling out there, much of which I think much of which I think it will, 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 would and will fade after the dust settles. That's my hope in any way. But I can understand it because, look, 2008 was a profound event in America, and it took a while for the political system to respond to it. It didn't become clear because there was, it was happening in an election year. So President Obama inherited the situation and did the best that he could and did a pretty good job, at least, of getting things back on an even keel and getting the economy. We didn't have the, 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 the disaster that we could have. But the effects of that, the slowness of the growth since then, an entire generation of, of young people saddled with great loans without a great future out there for them, the way in which the internet has destroyed old occupation uh, structures, the way that everything is different than it used to be. We don't know where we're going. I can understand perfectly why people are nervous. I'm nervous. You know, I'm nervous. Um, but there's a way in which, you know, you have to think about how you're going to address that, that condition. And there are good ways, I think, solid ways to do it. And then there are, there are ones that are much more insubstantial. And I'm afraid I find someone who, you know, uh, uh, a socialist who says he's a New Dealer, that's not going to get me very far. Whereas I think that, that Hillary Clinton actually does have ways to go get us further down the road than we possibly could. So that's why I'm supporting her this year. Good.